All right, next we have Pastor Kenneth Hagen. Uh, he actually passed away back in 2003. However, we found this old video of him uh, during one of his sermons, and he's doing crazy moves. Okay, now look, this has, <laughs> you know, we cover the news generally here. This is no bearing on the news today at all. But since we saw it, I wanted to share it with you because I think it, it's an interesting comment on, unfortunately, religious zeal, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a hell of a lot of fun. So let's watch. What did they see? For them to think they was drunk, they must have thought they was drunk. <laughs> so he's, his powers are making these people pass out, gone. I don't know why they have to slide off their chairs. Like and then people start laughing. I don't know if it's the Holy Ghost in them or the devil in them. I don't know which one it is. have to do with Christianity? What does it have to do with the Bible? They're just over there having fun like clowns. Yeah, no, but look, my serious point here is once you believe in something irrational, there's no end to the irrationality, right? Because once you suspend belief in, in things that are logical and reasonable, mm -hmm. when the penguin comes out and starts going, wah, <laughs> joy, -ya, right? And then you can go, oh, sick, it and slide off your chair, right? <laughs> And, and those people, they're possessed. They're not possessed by the Holy Ghost. They're possessed by a, a, a psychological moment, which is fascinating, mm -hmm. you know? But those are the people that are supposed to be the moral core of our country. When I look at that, I don't see the moral core of our country. I see lunatics. I mean, if, you, if I didn't know anything about religion and I, you just showed me that tape, and I'd say, all right, well, I mean, I guess we've got to get them help, right? I mean white outfits with the straps on and take them to a mental hospital. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? Joy! -yah! And how, how about when he goes around and starts slapping people upside the head? <laughs> right? Yeah. Look, I, I think it, it's a little unfair to say that they're the moral core of our country. Like churches like that. No, no, like that's that, what they say. Right. I know. That's what They say a lot of crazy things. Who cares what they say? But that's not the reality. Like, most churches aren't like that. So, you know, I think it's unfair to paint Christians generally as no, 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 zeals no. and fanatics like no, that. No, it's a good point, Anna. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, of course not all Christians are like that. But there is a strand of Pentecostal, etc., throughout the country. And in their minds, they're like, well, we're with the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, this makes a ton of sense. And, uh, you know, and we're the real moral ones, and everybody else is terrible, right? You know what I find amusing about this? The fact that the pastor has enough persuasive ability to make these people think that they're being possessed by something. Yeah, no, that's like amazing. In, in, in his mind, he's thinking, ah, look at these losers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he goes home and he does the penguin laugh again to himself. Like, Wah! <laughs> I made them all pass out and give me all their money. Because what do they use it for in the end? Once you've got that kind of control over people, what are you going to do next? You're going to take their money, Lebowski. Of course. 
And it's not like that was some small church with like 10, 15 people. There were a lot of people in that church, which blows my mind. And then, look, final thought on this is that then those kind of people will then turn around and make fun of Islam or or any other religion. Oh, Hinduism with Ganesh and the eight arms or however many arms there is and the elephants. Oh, look at those crazy people. Look, there ain't anybody crazier than those folks you just saw in that video. And, and I'm not saying that they're bad guys. Okay, I'm sure that, you know, they go home and they have a lovely family life and they have picnics, etc., etc. But they are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So I don't want them talking smack about anybody else. That's all I'm saying.